I want to dismantle this thought that it's too late. Yes. Because I yes. think that I'm a millennial and like millennial women were really set up for the okie doke because they told us from when we were little, don't depend on anybody. Make sure you get your own. Always be independent. Go to college. Get an education. Don't have a bit. Put your don't put don't put a man before your like we were hammered. The messaging was go to college, have something that you can stand on, and then think about a man and a baby. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us did that, and what that did was it made our made us older, entering motherhood, our age, you know, yeah. like the, our, we started thinking about making a family later, yeah. and then I feel like we just got shamed on the back end. And we were like, oh, wait yeah. a minute, but I thought this is what we were supposed right. to do. This is Sheila Marie, who's married to Ace Hood, a well-known rapper. And she is talking about how a lot of females, especially in the millennial generation, were lied to about what to prioritize first. When it came to marriage, having a family, it was always the last thing to prioritize. They were told that they should first of all get their education, get a great career, be independent and then find a man then get married but then what happens is age begins to play a part society now views you very different as you're leaving your prime years and dating for marriage is also a lot more harder she has said a lot of interesting things but here's the thing one thing that i would say i disagree with her would i say it's too late yes and no why both because in reality if the millennial generation females wanted to really prioritize marriage and have a family they could they could still find a decent man to do that with right now but why won't they and this is where the conversation continues because they're all looking for that one percent man they're all looking for the rich man the man that owns land the man that owns property the man that's six foot this the man that has six inch this whatever and in that case this is why they remain single and if females fit that bracket of wanting whatever they want then it is too late you will remain single as a lot of females in the millennial generations have been also lied to about what they can and can't have when it comes to a man and what you have is a lot of these females they do it like sheila and want to convince other females that they can do it too now that's a lie that is a lie now you may have been the lucky bunch to have found a man like ace hood for whatever reason which she's not even mentioning but the matter of fact is other females are less likely to be in her situation and find the man that she found in his caliber now a lot of these females don't talk about that and i think they kind of enjoy feeling like they're sitting in in this elite position where they can tell females what they should and shouldn't do and tell females what they can and can't do when you know damn well that it's a lie just like they lied to her and that's why no one is learning nothing no one is willing to change because they're perpetrating lies over and over again. Resulting in not just millennial generation being bamboozled, but also Gen Z, Gen X, all falling under the same lie that these females are continuously pushing. You can get married. You can find a husband. You can have a family that the one that you want but as i said before they're all chasing a fairy tale a make-believe man that they want in their head they're all chasing a man that they could only sleep with in their prime years and what happens is a lot of these females you know they will give sound advice and they will tell you truths but they will not actually break down the reality of making that type of choice and what it means to be a wife and the changes that needed to be done and what was it like to actually vet a man and what type of man are you looking for and a lot of females will listen to someone like sheila just because she's married to ace hood not because she's a wife a lot of females do not want to listen to wives that actually compromise make changes and learn how to 
to be a woman in their prime years and did those things in their prime years not waiting until later in their 30s the only reason why Sheila's getting this type of light and having these type of conversations and females are willing to listen to her is because of who she married and females want to be in that position to marry a man like Ace Hood not be the wife that she is I don't know much about who she is or her past but what I do know is a lot of females do want to be in that position that she is in she is in and want the man that she has she knows that as well and so she will talk about the lies that she's been told and the lies that they've told the millennial generation because she knows that females are also looking for what she has and that's what a lot of these females do and in one instance they will tell you it's not too late to marry but the other instance is you ain't gonna marry a man like Ace Hood you want to get married you're gonna have to find a man that is really in your caliber I don't care how much money you make or what PhD you have what master's degree you have what doctorate you have you're still average because those people are average too females think that having certain careers makes you above average and meaning that you deserve above average no and this is where a lot of these females women who get married in this instance they don't actually open up the conversation about this why are these millennial generations not getting married even after they realize they've been lied to it's because they all want an acehood or they would have been at least with someone in a committed relationship pursuing that but that's not the case and we all know that i'm your hostess remnant princess these are my last thoughts i do believe that you can get married as i said before i'm not saying that it's completely impossible but i'm saying it is completely impossible to find that rich good looking good vibes funny guy tall guy this guy that guy no that is too late let that go and if you don't want to let it go then we all know what it means you're just gonna be alone and that's the reality females don't want to accept they want what they want which they just can't have let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye